What's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of the Drift Games Vlog. This is not a serious episode, it's actually a stupid episode because essentially we make videos usually for your entertainment but this one is actually just for our entertainment because we've been having an argument all day over which of our cars would be faster around the track. Now, Josh has a Fiat 500 which we'll introduce in a minute and I have this now beautiful A86 Toyota Corolla. So Josh reckons that old cars, he doesn't see the hype, they're overrated. Modern is always better. And I'm saying that front wheel drive, stupid little hot hatches, will never give you the feeling of going around the track in a rear wheel drive car, and I reckon they're even slower. So let's put the stats in perspective here. So, how much horsepower are you running? 135 ish something. But to be honest, you've mapped the car. What's it running? Well, I've mapped it. I'm not sure if it made it fast. It's supposed to be 150. It's supposed to be 150 horsepower. So I have 100 and. 20 something and maybe that's been lost over the years i'm not sure well we've had this argument yours could be lighter yours is rear wheel drive yours is yeah sporty-ish car it's it's actually a very interesting argument because i'm saying the car is obviously much lighter it's rear wheel drive and it's kind of no frills rear wheel drive his is more powerful but it has a lot more airbags and all that stuff in it it's probably a little bit heavier it's a little bit more understeery it's definitely understeery so we said we would just actually just one of the days, I mean, this is nothing more than this. It's just we're going to settle an argument over whether old school cars are slow and can't keep up with. The worst thing is this could be the second time that's lost the race. He's not, he's not, he's not into the, he lost the race before, so he's not entering this race without confidence. He thinks this car, and everyone thinks this car is going to go faster. I think the Corolla might go faster. I don't know. We're going to try it out. Again, this is just an experiment. We've no idea how it's going to go, but it's for your entertainment and our entertainment. And more importantly, I just want to beat Josh really badly with a car <laughs> that is older than him, which would be really, really fun. So what we're going to do is I'm going to jump in the Corolla. I've never driven this car um, on track before. I haven't really driven the car at all yet since I got it. Um, it's a completely stock Corolla, except for an exhaust, and we've changed the wheels. But other than that, it's pretty much... With it. Well, we lowered it a little bit on the back. That's about it. This, on the other hand, has had loads of money spent, Josh. Little bits. What do you mean, little bit? Little bits commute, like little bits, and then they became a big bit. So talk through it. We've got what? Front vent intercooler. It's got yeah, intercooler. It's got decap pipe, exhaust, um, the ram air system. It's been remapped. Um, it's got an actuator in. Um, lowered. Yeah, uh, yeah, lowered as well. So Spaces, you, if that makes a difference. I'm not sure. But what I'm just saying is you spent quite a few quid here making this little Italian crap mobile. Yeah, but if it wasn't faster. for the 25 euro ticket, you would have spent quite a few quid on that. How much is it how much do they go for? It's just a shade over 25 quid. Real price. 15 to 20 grand? 15 to 20 grand. That's twice the price of this. That's a good point. So you could buy two of these and look twice as stupid as driving around in one of these. That's quite good. Well, we're not going to know until one of us wins. I actually don't Me. know what's going to happen here. I'm, I'm genuinely worried because this car is a bit like with the standard suspension. If it has set of coilovers in it now, I'd be going, okay, I can rally it. But it's actually, it's a little bit. Well, you never drove it on track. No, never driven on track. You drove down the road about five minutes. Yeah, this is the furthest I've driven it today. So I'm going to jump in the car. I'm going to put a camera in and I'm going to go take it for just a, like a sighting lap, Josh, if that's okay. Just to, make sure, sighting lap. just to make sure the car is running okay. And then we're actually going to put them head to head on time. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, let's go for a spin the Corolla. Okay, start up the Corolla. Take her for a little spin. Okay, so the A86, an absolutely legendary car. Everybody is super protective of these, and they're very, very cool. There's no denying how cool they are, how significant they are, but with time moving on, are they still a good car? So, you know, this is a pretty stock one, as it would have come out of the factory. You know, we're gonna get a good test on it today, just to see if it is kind of living up to the hype, or do we need to spend a lot of money on it to make it actually a very good car? Now, the Corolla, is very cool it's a sunday car i'm not exactly using this car as a track car but when we're having that argument over which was faster josh was adamant that his car would be much much faster than the corolla around the track so i'm just going to warm the car up take it for a couple of spirited laps and in the rain and starting to come down now a little heavier i think i might have the advantage here doesn't have an LSD and 
has stock suspension, so it's going to be, I think from my perspective, not the fastest in the world around the track today. But it's still fun to drive, although I'm falling out of the seat, as you can see. Okay, that's enough practice, that's enough practice, we're all right. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't look the fastest. But then again, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> I say it's one wheeling. A lot of one wheeling going on. It's, it's fun easy. though, it's like it's really fun to drive. It's like a go-kart. Well it's gonna be greasy out there now. It's greasy, which means it's kind of twitchy and I kinda of like that, but the problem the seat like it's alright for driving around, but you're just give it a give it a pump up. But that's just the lumbar support. <laughs> I, I need some shoulder support. I'm like over and back like this. So, will we do some times? Yeah, we just Let's go do straight some time. into it. I think we, do you want to do, what do, you, should we just do two attempts each? So we'll do one each, and then it's a final. You're making it way too confusing now. Okay. One, one lap. That's the way me and Blaine did it, that's the way. Okay, practice lap, one lap. And it's one lap shootout then. Yeah. It's a bit of stress. It is a bit of stress. Alright, we'll go to the start line. I may as well. I'll go first, I'm ready. And as professional as this is, we kind of got to guesstimate a start line. It's time to race, folks. I put my wipers on. Love this car, but I'm showing it no sympathy because no mint Corolla is worth more than beating Josh Holdsworth. So Dave is ready. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Here we go, he's giving it the beans. All right, gear, oh, a little bit shaky in here. Full throttle in third gear. As fast as we can go. Lay on the brakes in second gear. Out fast in second. Up to third. Lay on the brakes again, second gear. One seventeen. I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember what my last one was or what a good time is, so I don't know. It's all right, that that was okay. I messed up in the middle section a little bit, but it was okay. Oh, it was a poor car. One seventeen point twelve. I don't know what that's relevant to. No, I don't know either. There's a chicane in the middle of it now, so it's totally different than the last time. I felt okay with the lap, but I messed up a little. Probably went too low a gearing in the middle, but. Oh, it was no. alright. It was. I'm okay with it. I've also realised you went first, and it's raining, so it's wet for my lap. That's my first excuse. It's drying up. It's, it's still raining. It was torrential How is it? when I was How going around it? there. It was torrential. <laughs> it's torrential down there. It's like there, Jurassic isn't? Park out there. I couldn't even see where I was going. I'm going to park up the the 86. Get your little stupid Fiat and see if it can beat that. And it should beat that. Remember, everybody. What is it? 2004. What is it? 20 years of the difference between those cars. Yeah, 20 years of development. 20 years of Fiat Italian development, which means they did nothing. They just put the same car back together. We put the turbo in the small car. She knows nothing. Sorry to interrupt this video. I want to give a big shout out to our partners here at Drift Games Link ECU, who've been supporting us for many years and also supporting the best drifters and racers in the world with their amazing range of products. If you want to find out the entire range of products they have and how they can improve the performance of your car, check out linkecu.com. So Josh has decided to do a test lap because he's never been around here before in the Fiat, which is a lie. He's been around here loads of times in the Fiat, but I think he's actually a little worried about the times. Also, ignore our terrible maths earlier because 
We said there was 20 years of difference, actually 30 years of the difference between those two cars. So for a modern car, 30 years of development in Italy can't beat a Toyota Corolla and it has more power and more of upgrades. So he has no excuse here. Come forward, forward. Stop. I suppose let the best man win. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Got wheel spin star. Uh. Josh reckons this is like the next incarnation of the, the Glanza Turbo. That's the most controversial statement I'll ever make on this channel, but Josh reckons it's like the new version of that, so would a Glanza beat a Corolla around the track? I don't know, so let's see how he gets on. Aim for the striped lines on the track. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, into the chicane. There we go. It's a bit bumpy, and don't understand into that because then there's a drop on the grass. Oh. Slow and steady wins the race. No, not slow and steady. Calm and relaxed a little bit. Rumble strips. Rumble strips. Rumble strips. <laughs> I feel this is actually going better than I thought. Okay. Okay. Don't stay on this. Turn in. Talk what you're doing because I will do it better maybe. Going less aggressive. Maybe a little bit faster. On the wonder here and here's a big corner. And return to the lads. Yeah, you can't read a face going up someone that's, that you've just raced. You're not sure if they're fake and being smug or if they're acting. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you have fun driving around the track? Oh, you're lining it up for me saying... I'm, I'm saying, did you have fun? I did have fun. Well, then times don't matter. It's all about having fun. Oh, hang on a second now. <laughs> it's all about having fun, Josh. We're not out here as tell competitors. Me the tell me the time. I actually was so depressed, I forgot to press it on time, but it was about 1.15 something. 1.15? Yeah. <laughs> not even close! It was and like there one. was me panicking. It was a 1.15 something. And I'm a bad driver. If there was more turns, I'd give it... A, unless you want to go double or nothing. Double or nothing with two seconds? Yeah. Well, we're not, what, double or nothing what? Double the win? Double the win. Do you to give me one more lap to see if I can beat it? You know what? I don't think I need to take a second lap. So I'm happy with that. I, 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 we'll go back on the cameras. We'll know the exact time. I'm, but running, somewhere I'm, around. I'm running a bit low on fuel, so I'm, I'm going to be happy with one lap. So it was 1.15 something, I think. You're not even going to break into 1.15, so... Give me a go, give me another go. So I won fair and square, let's be honest. And Dave doesn't like losing, but I only agree to it because the only thing that he likes less than losing is losing twice. So if we give him another go and he loses again, then it'd be like twice the win for me. Look at me in his little loser car. Three. Two, one, go! Oh, that was a terrible start! Be much more aggressive this time. Absolutely as lit as I can be. The worst thing is he's very competitive, so he could actually just write the thing off. 
I'm trying to go faster. A little bit tentative on my first lap. incredibly close. I reckon I should have another go. 114.8. Oh! You do realize what this, like, I'm obviously having another go, but you didn't even stop mine. And technically we could go back on the footage and I could have beat yours. <coughs> it was definitely in the 15s, I think. Definitely in the 15s. Was that 114.8? 14.8. So it took three seconds off. Yeah. Little Corolla! I'm having another go now. Nah, it's only fair. It's my second go, he's had a second go. This is not over! Why I let him do another lap, I do not know. It's stupid of me! So, Josh is getting another go. He's getting another go. He's 114, or 114.8 to beat. Keep moving. Every inch counts. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> one big wheel speed for the cold world. To the red line. I think it's dry at this lap. All right, so I can't see what he's doing on the track because it's very far away from me. You can see it on the car, but he's got to beat 114.8. That's what the Corolla did on the second lap. I think that's all the Corolla has around here. So yeah, let's hope. Let's hope for all JDM goodness that we can beat him. Ah, the bears are running for the lives. Break. That was not good! This is just a messy lap all together. Oh my god, that was not good. Oh, what has happened to my tyres? I've almost crashed like three times in this lap. This is what he does to me! Atrocious! Almost killed Blaine! Ah! Get him down. It's not good news. It's not good news at all. Which is the problem now. Big time for the lads again. like four times then I understand every that, that was a worse lap in my opinion than my other one it was a worse lap yeah you did it in oh shut up one yeah 13.5 and that ladies and gentlemen is why new is better than old we're never gonna hear the end of this um down there, down there doing donuts and handbrakes and I'm not happy. I'm not happy. We, we, we improved our time by three seconds and then he improved his time by three seconds so it just goes to show that we were just crap on the first two runs but let's be honest it's not a good day. I'll tell you what though we can take one bit of consolation from this that a 30 year old Corolla, not more than 30 year old Corolla, 36 year old Corolla, uh, 35 year old Corolla was only one second off a 2014 Fiat 500 with lots of upgrades and a remap. And I think, and that's a totally stock car, and Josh's has a lot of stuff done to it. So what I'm thinking is, 
that I'll go get a load of stuff done to the Corolla. I'm gonna go get some suspension done. I'm gonna go get an LSD. I'm gonna go make it lower and faster and put better tires on it. And then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna absolutely whoop that Fiat. So if you guys think that's a good idea, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching another episode of the Drift Games vlog. This one was just a grudge match. So what I wanna do now is, you know, you guys think we did, as, uh, did I do good for the Corollas or did I do as much as I could do? Could I have driven faster? Let us know and we'll see you on the next episode. Guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and about 75% of people watching the videos aren't subscribing, so hit the subscribe button. It makes you aware of all the videos we're putting up. And also, we've got a brand new range of merch in our shop, driftgames.life. Get onto the shop. Got Hoonigan stuff in Europe, we've got Gas Monkey stuff in Europe, and we've got our Drift Games range. So make sure you guys get on there and grab something cool. And of course, it helps us make more fun videos and justify why we act like idiots on racetracks and across the country. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm a sweaty Betty. And I beat Dave, that's the main thing. Got a bit of dignity back. I swear to God, if he tells me now he was telling me a worse time and letting me big up myself, I will not forgive him. GoPro off.